Hi, everybody. And I hope you're all here. And uh, I hope that those of you who have uh, overindulged are sober. One of the things, and I find it remarkable every year, is speaking to people who've overindulged, particularly with food and with alcohol, and uh, now are uh, in a quandary. Don't be. It's over and done with. Whatever you have done, or whatever you have not done, the time has passed. We have the future looking at us in the face. And please, God, there will be many opportunities for us to celebrate. So let's take whatever it is that's happened, acknowledge that it is over and done with, and let us move on. Now, what does move on mean? For me, it means making a determination that I will make the new year better than the year that has just passed. But I'm also going to tell myself that I'm not going to overdetermine the situation. I'm going to try to learn from the mistakes that I've made. I'm going to try to alter my behavior with regard to those mistakes. And I'm going to try to move on. I have a big problem. You see, my child self bothers me all the time. The reason, as many of you know, I had severe ADHD and dyslexia as a child. And it was my child self who protected me and got me through. I didn't know it at the time. I realized it afterward. But what it's done is it's made me grateful to that child self because I would not be who I am today if that child self had not overridden many of the difficulties that I faced and helped me through them. Now, to let you know, my child self is a, uh, how shall I put it, a joker. It has an exceptionally keen, dry sense of humor. And when it comes out, some people get offended because it sounds like sarcasm. I did not overindulge during this holiday season. And my child self was reined in. It wasn't happy. And it talks to me all the time.
being that this holiday season, I was away and isolated. My child self was having a field day because uh, I do like to be social. And here it had its opportunity to have conversation with me. This year I was very lucky because almost the first time my child self came at me, I realized what was going on. It wanted me to break the rules because it knows that when I break the rules, I'm happy for the moment. And my child self loves when I'm happy because it's fulfilled. It's only reason for existence is to bring fun and joy into my life. And when I'm indulgent, fun and joy is the bottom line. I also know that my child self has no understanding at all of consequences. It wants what it wants when it wants it. And when it gets what it wants, it has what it wants. And it's over and done with. The new year is coming up. I'm set now with the magic protocol. I've got a packet of wintergreen and I've got a packet of peppermint. Many, many days worth. And I'm prepared to use it. I'm going to verbally acknowledge when I want to indulge, I'm going to remind myself, hey, buddy, you want me to indulge? I want to indulge. But if I give in to you, I'm going to feel guilty and remorseful. So I'm putting these Tic Tacs in my mouth. They will stop me from indulging and they will make me feel good because I will be getting control back at that moment. And I'm going to do it as many times as I need to, particularly in the next few weeks. I'm going to overuse them because I liked indulging. I didn't go overboard, but I liked indulging. It felt good. Throw everything off. Be free. For my child self, it'll work. For me, it'll only give me guilt and remorse. So I'm going to accept the fact that I'm going to acknowledge, admit, that I want to cheat. I'm going to do the Qigong breathing because it stops me, it centers me, it relaxes me, it makes me feel good. And it re makes me recognize I'm in charge. And lastly, and most importantly, I'm using the candy to substitute for the indulgence that I'm not going to use. Admit, breathe, substitute, work your abs, happy holidays, a great new year.